Hey guys, today's project is to build some circular wall shelves for my wife for Christmas. Uh, I don't know if this will get done by Christmas or if this video will come out before Christmas, but basically I found some drums in uh, near in around a dumpster, uh, actually several different times. This one came off the side of the road. This one came out of a dumpster. If you look around back here, I've got a pile of shelves back here that just have no practical value as drums. For example, this is a sunlight drum, which is sort of beginner nonsense anyway, and it's not doing so hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off the, uh, what do you call this, the wrap. Yeah, that's the word. And uh, like I've done to this one, I'm going to sand them down. I'm going to stain them. Theoretically, I'm going to put in a horizontal piece to make a more shelf-like design. So here's a cool thing, and we're going to hang on the walls. We'll see how this goes. Uh, maybe I'll give you a few of the steps along the way that I do. So first, I'm just ripping off the wrap for this one. When I rip, pulled back the wrap, it's labeled 12 by 10, and it's got uh, Taiwanese, Chinese characters, probably Cantonese, I want to say, uh, or something like that. Um, maybe it's standard Chinese. How am I supposed to know? But um, there you go, so factor label under the wrap. I'm gonna have to sand that off. See this drum, even though it says it's 10 inches, it's actually nine and like 15 sixteenths or something. So I did some math, the fractions, whatever, and I've found the middle of it because this is way too deep for a shelf. So I'm gonna take a saw and I'm just gonna cut it in half, make two shelves out of it, and I have to use less drum shells to get more shelves. So I'm just going to use classic hand saw technology to take this thing in half. I'll probably have to do a ton of sanding. We'll see how it works. A couple minutes of sawing, and here we go. Half a drum shell and half a drum shell. So sand these down, and I should have two shelves worth right there. Now I just got to sand it. Got my dust collection system running into the shop back here. Very high-tech dust collection device. And... Uh, We'll see if we can smooth these things down. So next I'm hitting all the pieces with sandpaper. I started with the power sander and now I'm down to just 220 grit sandpaper just to give it a little bit of a nice texture and then I'm going to put some finish on there. None of these drums were very good to begin with. And, uh, you know, they were wrapped, so the wood was never treated in any way. So I've decided to hit them with this pre-stained wood conditioner, uh, you know, and the plywood shelves as well, just to make sure that they take the stain evenly. But already, they look a lot better with this finish on them. For the shelves and the little drum, I went with this finish stain and uh, you can see it looks pretty good. It's obviously still really wet. Um, for these pieces of the sunlight shell, I liked the color that they are on their own, so I'm just gonna put like a clear coat on them. Uh, but for this smaller drum, it looks really ugly, so I decided to stain it and it looks a little better now. When the finish dried, I went ahead and just put the shelves in with a little bit of wood glue. Um, I'll obviously mount them level on the wall, but that's going to be the finished concept right there. 